He says it's important to keep your headlights on and put your sun visor down to block your view of the sun. Do not wear eclipse glasses while driving or try to take pictures of the eclipse. And Jim is going to do the forecast with eclipse glasses on. <laughs> I wish I could, but you can't see anything through these, even looking at the bright lights. But a great reminder, folks, you need to have these if you're going to look up in the sky. So do not look up at the sky at the sun Monday unless you have these special glasses. Otherwise, there's other ways you can get the re reflection on the ground and such to see that eclipse. Let's talk about what's happening Monday. The path of totality, as you probably know by now, is out to the west from Texas up through the Midwest into a western New York State, New England. Uh, we are in the zone where it's a partial eclipse, but this is where the high drama is going to be in terms of how the impact will be if you're out in that area experiencing the eclipse. For us, not so much. It's going to get a little dark, a little bit darker, like a real cloudy day, but out here, that's where there'll be, again, the bigger impact. In terms of cloud cover, we're going to have a little bit around here Monday afternoon, more of it out here to the west as well. But I think if you're traveling out in those areas for the totality path, even if there's cloudiness, it'll still be pretty impressive because it's going to get really dark, just like nighttime. Let's talk about Richmond's uh, timing on this. 202 is when it starts. The partial eclipse peaks at around 318, 83. 3% coverage of the sun by the moon, and then by 4.30, it's over. But again, a reminder, it's just a partial eclipse here, but do not look directly up at the sun unless you have those special glasses.